Greetings, fellow traveler. Today, I want to remind you that belief is all you need. See, as we go along our journey, we can get, or we're told while we're young, even when we're older, that this is how you do it. That is how you do it. And depending on what that focus is, it can appear true. Many times it does appear true. But when you understand or when you build that belief within yourself that you can create the world that you want, then you begin to see a shift in your reality. Now, don't get it confused. We all make our own choices. So when you build that belief in yourself, it's not about changing how other people go about choosing their beliefs. It's changing your own beliefs. A change in belief can make a friend out of an enemy and vice versa. A change in belief can allow one to see their inner power and not give their power away to outside influences. Person, thing, places, doesn't matter. See, if we look uh, around the world at what we believe to be success, there are various unlimited opinions of what that is and what it looks like. But in knowing what something looks like doesn't inherently mean you know what it is. And in knowing what things are doesn't inherently mean that you will know what it looks like. We can look at celebrities. We can look at your everyday uh, garbage man. Doesn't matter. Sanitation work, if you will. Who is anyone outside of that individual to tell them what success is? Who is anyone to tell them what to believe in and what not to believe in? Even as I share my thoughts and opinions, I'm not here to tell you what to believe in or even how to believe. The simple premise is that no matter what you believe, evidence will show. If you believe you are worthy of more in life, the evidence will show. Now, the evidence may not always be something that is received positively by yourself, me included, but that's okay. The evidence is presenting itself. It's what we choose to do in those moments of recognition that determine if said evidence builds upon our faith and belief or if we go in the opposite direction. See, there are various different ways that we can go about life tricking ourselves. It's part of the way. It's part of the experience. It's part of the journey. But when we resonate and understand or even grasp the idea that we have an unlimited amount of power that is inherent in our simply being here, that can be life changing. That can be reality changing. Because you can lean away from the idea that we must form to this construct that we've been placed into, if you will. And you begin to see that you are more than capable to display the power to change things. Now, others may not agree. That's fine. The only one that must be in agreement with you is self. And operating from that, we can see people who feel, believe, and live their life as if they are more than successful, while others may deem otherwise. It's because it's not for others to say, and that is the inherent power of who we are. Now, we do live in a world that is uh, populated highly by large societies in which we live within close, close proximity. Not to mention a digital age where you can connect with many people around the globe, if not just around your city, that you would have never come across had the internet not been as prevalent as it is in our modern day society. Those influences can impact our belief tremendously because we can get caught up in rabbit holes. We can get caught up in uh, 
pigeonhole ways of thinking. We can lock ourselves in smaller or larger cages now because we have more options. We have more access. You know, on the opposite spectrum, there are more forces that can influence us. That's absolutely fine. Because in knowing our power, we can lock into a certain reality and we can remove it or release it when it no longer serves us. We can say, this is what I see ideally for myself, for my life right now. And as that becomes more and more of a materialized realization or reality for us, we grow more and more because we learn more. We expand more. That's absolutely fine. I mean, it's the natural part of the process. I'm simply here to remind you that there's beauty in that. There's beauty in knowing that the power of our choices impacts our reality at such a great magnitude that a simple display of persistence can mean the world. It can literally mean the world to us because it will form the reality that we ideally want and vice versa. Now, it doesn't matter what tools you use to achieve this. Some use religion. Absolutely fine. Some use their work or their trade or their vocation. Absolutely fine. Some use other methods. It's absolutely fine. There's no right or wrong way to go about it. The simple understanding is it, be, it all begins and starts with a choice. A choice to believe in what you ideally want. And in doing so, the world changes instantly, whether your five senses perceive it or not. To me, it's lovely. Because even in times of uh, seeming discourse or resistance, I learn more. Not just about myself, but about the way I would perceive things as the past as opposed to now. The way I perceive things now as opposed to how I see them in the future. It's constant feedback loop. That's life in its essence. Construction, destruction. With that said, I'm going to leave it at that point. I want to thank you for tuning in. I would love to hear your thoughts on this. Until next time, be blessed. And please don't forget to smile.